built-in functions. Python has many, many built-in functions. You could never learn them all in this course. You will learn a few, but it's far more important that you learn how to learn more about functions. Good programmers create documentation for their functions. Documentation is extra information about a function that makes it clear how it works. There are many ways to write documentation, but they usually have a few things in common. You should look for six major parts, the function's name, its parameters, its return value, its description, and examples of how to use the function. The arguments that are passed into a function are also known as parameters. Parameters are the formal names that allow us to refer to the arguments of the function. In the example below, the arguments are 3, 10, and hello. The document tells, documentation tells us the corresponding parameters are x, y, and z. A common task is to nest function calls inside of other functions. When nesting function calls, you read from the net inside outward. This can be a little unintuitive, but it may help to treat the parentheses the same as they are in math operations. However, it's critical to remember that the parentheses are there because they are actually what calls the function not because they are doing math. When you need to call methods on the same string, variable, or value, it's a little different. As shown below, you will repeat the period, name, and parentheses each time. By placing them side by side, you will keep using the same variable, modifying it in turn from left to right. Since calls are just another expression, you can freely combine them with each other. Observe the code shown below where we combine string addition, a string method call, and a function. Notice the order, order of execution. This can be tricky to follow. You already know two functions. Print is a function that takes in arguments and writes to the console. Input is a function that reads from the console and returns it as a string value. These two functions are strange because they have side effects. The input function puts a text box on the console, and the print function writes text to the console. Going forward, we will use these two functions a lot less than we did up until now, although they will have their purpose. 